Disappointment is a universal emotion that can cast a shadow over our lives if left unattended. We invest our hearts and our souls into a project or a relationship, only to have it unravel before our eyes. It can feel as if the rug was pulled out from underneath you. Sharp pangs of sadness, hopelessness, and regret wash over you, threatening to engulf your spirit, dimming your light. Join me today for part one of two episodes as we uncover the radiant resilience within us all. Together, we'll learn to harness the power of disappointment and use it as a catalyst for a brighter, more fulfilling future. We're going to dive into practical steps to move through disappointment, and you'll discover the radiant resilience that lies within you. Welcome to Choose True Happiness, the faith-infused podcast where dreams are ignited, gratitude and joy fill the air, and your vision for the future takes flight as you partner with God to co-create a happier, more fulfilling life. Hi, I'm your host, Donna Berger, your faith-based dream catalyst mentor. Join me as we embark on this spirit-led journey that empowers you to focus forward toward a radiant future. If you feel like something is missing in your personal life, then this is your starting point to nurture your soul's aspirations and dive deep into those dreams that fill your heart with true happiness. Introducing the Pursue Your Dreams quiz, Embrace Your Radiant Future. If you're longing for more, this quiz is perfect for you because this is the beginning of your extraordinary journey. Now, this quiz isn't just a set of questions. It's a gateway to transformation. It's designed to help you assess your readiness, mindset, and alignment with pursuing your dreams. So if you're seeking greater fulfillment in your personal life and you are ready to take faith-fueled actions toward your radiant future, head on over to DonnaBurger.com and let the transformation begin. Welcome back to the Choose True Happiness podcast, where we're on a mission to illuminate the path so you can live your radiant life. Hi, I'm your host, Donna, and I'm so happy you're here. Let's begin by acknowledging that staying trapped in feelings of disappointment pulls you down and holds you firmly in place while life continues to flow around you. It's a place where negativity breeds and the shadows of despair loom large, obscuring the vibrant potential of your radiant life. Disappointment leads to a cascade of negative emotions, from sadness to anger to frustration. These emotions, when left unaddressed, can indeed have a detrimental impact on your life. When you remain stuck in disappointment, you miss the opportunity to embrace the healing and transformative power of faith, gratitude, and a renewed mindset. These emotional shackles prevent you from moving forward on the path toward a life filled with true happiness. It's only by acknowledging and processing your disappointments and then consciously choosing to release them, that you can break free from their grasp and continue your journey toward the joy and fulfillment that awaits you. Please remember, you are not powerless. You have within you the capacity to rise above disappointment and turn it into stepping stones toward greater joy and fulfillment. The key is to take deliberate steps to move through disappointment and allow the lessons learned to transform you because disappointment can definitely breed bitterness, resentment, and self-doubt, becoming a heavy burden you carry in your heart. It can obscure your path to happiness and it hinders your personal growth. Today, we are here to shine a light on a different narrative the story of radiant resilience. But first, what is radiant resilience? 
Radiant resilience is the ability to not only bounce back from challenges and setbacks in life, but to do so with a positive and shining attitude. Radiance typically implies a bright and glowing quality. In the contents of a context of radiant resilience, it signifies the capacity to maintain a positive and hopeful outlook even in the face of adversity. It suggests an inner light that shines through despite difficulties. Resilience refers to the ability to withstand and recover from setbacks, hardships, or tough situations. It involves adapting to change, overcoming obstacles, and emerging stronger from challenges. So, Radiant Resilience combines these two ideas, suggesting a mindset and attitude that not only endures adversity, but also shines brightly through the process. It's about maintaining a positive, hopeful, and strong demeanor, even when faced with disappointments or difficulties in life. And for those of you wondering if that is even possible, it is. While going through extremely difficult times and major disappointments, I am a living testimonial that through and with God, all things are possible. So while we have all experienced disappointments in our lives that are definitely and absolutely challenging, and it's actually just an integral part of our human experience. And as women of faith, we are not exempt from its touch. In moments of disappointment, we often find ourselves at a crossroads, facing a choice to dwell in the shadows or to take courageous steps toward the radiant life we are meant to live. The path to radiant living begins with embracing our emotions, even the difficult ones. (laughs) Okay, in Psalms 34, 18, it is written, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. These words remind us that we are not alone. We're not alone in our pain. And through our faith, we find strength and solace. Now, as you navigate this journey of disappointment, it's not the end of your story. It's a turning point, a chapter in the grand narrative of your life. Disappointment can linger like a heavy fog, obscuring your vision of brighter days. But as a faith-based woman, you are blessed with the inner strength and wisdom to conquer disappointment and emerge even stronger on the other side. So let's explore practical steps to move through disappointment, reclaim your joy, and focus on living your radiant life. Our first practical step is to give yourself permission to grieve. Disappointment is a form of loss, whether it's the loss of a dream, a relationship, or an opportunity. Just as we just as we grieve the passing of a loved one, we must honor our feelings of loss and sadness. In Ecclesiastes 3, 4, we find the words, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. This verse reminds us that mourning is a natural part of life, and it's through this process that we find the strength to dance once more. The next step is forgiveness. And this includes forgiving both ourselves and others. Holding on to grudges or self-blame only prolongs the grief and grip of disappointment. In Colossians 3.13, it is written, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. These words emphasize the importance of forgiveness. By forgiving, we release the burden of disappointment, allowing ourselves to move forward with a lighter heart. Another vital step is to refocus on gratitude. Even in the moments of disappointment, there are blessings to be found. 
In 1 Thessalonians 5.18, it says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Practicing gratitude redirects your attitude from what you lack to what you have. It helps you see the positive possibilities that lie ahead, even in the midst of disappointment. Next, seek support and community because you are not alone on this journey. Connecting with others who share your faith can provide comfort, encouragement, and valuable perspectives. In Hebrews 10, 24 through 25, it says, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. These verses underscore the importance of community and mutual support, especially during times of disappointment. So I'm going to invite you to please join me next week for part two, Renewing Your Mind, A Key to Radiant Resilience, where we'll explore the renewing power of faith, gratitude, and a renewed, and a renewed mindset as we continue our quest to live lives filled with positivity and radiant happiness. Now, as we wrap up today's episode, Remember that disappointment is not the end of your story. It's merely a chapter, one that could lead to a radiant life filled with love, joy, and unwavering faith. Until next time, choose true happiness and keep smiling. Let's create a ripple effect. I'd be honored if you would subscribe, hit the like button, And please share this podcast with your friends so that together we can all enjoy living happier, more fulfilling lives. Thanks for listening. Have a happy and blessed day. Bye.